It's 935 K Day, and of course, you're inside the midday ride. But listen, I got my girl, my homegirl in the studio with me, so I'm really excited about this. LA, we got Snow the Product in the building. You've been doing so much, and I just love your aura. So anytime I can get you in here, you know I do, girl. Thank you, thank you. No, yeah, I definitely feel like, you know, we need monthly or or bi-monthly visits with you for sure. Absolutely. You You know what's funny is that people still uh, tag me on your video, Say Bitch, to this day, and they're like, Cece, I think I saw you. Was that you? And I'm like, yes, that was me. (laughs) I know, and it did really good, right? Like, I'm very proud of it. I feel like... um, that was awesome because it was like we did it ourselves and you you know we just kind of called on all the but the vibe women. was so dope i think yeah. it's because it was just so organic and yeah. how you did it yeah and you just got back from mexico yes well you got back from traveling yeah yeah so I talk about that that's crazy mexico puerto rico colombia um uh, mexico again yeah i've been shooting I've, a lot of music videos content um collaborations with artists in like different countries and stuff so it's been super super fun how do you uh how do you hang snow like i'm just gonna <laughs> say different time zones jet lag like like, um, how do you work that out? I mean, I don't know. Thank God, you know, we, Mexicans is finally coming up. So that first class laying down and sleeping vibe on the plane is clutch. So I show up to that country and I'm like, yo, let's go. Like, You're let's ready work. to go. I'm ready to go. And I'm traveling with my girls. So like that, that, that keeps a piece of home, you know? So I feel right. good. I feel a good. sense of peace with you. Yeah. I'm a cancer. I need to feel like cozy and like home. So like, I, yeah. you need that love around yes. you. How was it? How was it after, like after a year of quarantine, you know, we, we all had to deal with that. How was it performing back on stage after being quarantined like that feeling of just getting back on stage you're like yo i'm back it was amazing i i i realized i like i knew i was gonna miss it you know but i didn't i didn't you know i hadn't taken a break from touring in like almost a decade like i've been consistently touring nationally for like ever yeah so like it was I didn't realize how much I needed this break and like to look inward and to just, you know, like focus on my energy and on on getting the wrong energies away from me and just all that, you know. So it was a good it was a good thing. And and coming back now to shows um, revitalized is amazing. Can can we talk about uh, the special guest that you're going to be doing? You're going to be a special guest, uh, celebrity guest with Red Bull. But can we talk about that? That's actually really cool. Yeah. um, Yeah. I'm going to be a judge at the Red Bull Batallas and it's amazing because the freestyles and the the rappers that can that can improvise like that, you know, and battle and do all that is like that's a talent of its of its own, you know, and and I do come from that style of rap. And uh, so for them to even care what I have to say about it is like amazing. And yeah, I'm going to you're about to see some amazing uh, freestylers too, man. Yeah. And and also the fact that a lot of them also like, you know, they want to take their career and like make music and kind of kind of do what I did, which is I came from that. But then I I, I made a career out of it. And um, so I'm just I'm just there for whatever advice or help they need. I'm I'm, I'm around, man. Honestly, when I found out that you were doing that, I'm going to tell you the first thing that popped into my mind. (laughs) When I saw that, I was like, oh, she's doing that was the freestyle that you did when you were on BET. Oh, yeah. You killed it i still remember being in my living room watch it and i was like that's right yes i was like you fucking killed that shit like that was so dope you represented yeah and that's exactly what i thought about when i saw the red bubataya yeah i feel like anytime that i've you know been been called to kind of speak at a at a at a major you know in a major way i have always represented i have always talked about mexicans i have talked about immigrants i do always take that big platform and i go yo i'm gonna if it's my moment to say something thing i must say what what all my people want want me to say you know what i mean so um yeah i think it's just time for for my people to to realize that that is like bro it's been years of saying the the right stuff when i needed to say it so um no thank you because what you're doing is you're creating a seat for us at the table and that's really important and that takes a lot of responsibility it's a lot of heavy lifting that people don't realize it's a lot of heavy lifting and it's a lot of i think i do like it's like you get a lot of flack nowadays that everybody likes to be mad more than supportive right Um, a lot of times you get a lot of uh flack for some stuff you know what i mean and it's just like bro like do you even realize like we wouldn't even be talking here like sometimes like to be a woman to be queer to be mexican to have both my parents living in mexico because they were immigrants here like those type of things like that all that trauma that comes with all that like when you finally get a chance to speak and you choose to speak for everybody it's kind of like you know it's hard um and and it weighs on your soul but eventually uh you know, you go to counseling and you, you <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> no, really, it is. And, and sometimes it's even harder because, like you said, that it's such a responsibility. You take, it, it, listen, it, whatever, whether, whatever you say, some people are going to be upset about it. Some people are going to love you for it. Yeah, like, you're 100%. just never going to make anybody happy. I think um, the important thing is to let people know, though, that you just got to 
focus and block out the white noise because you're yeah. going to hear a lot of it. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, I've I've learned now to to do that, you know, focus on the positive, focus on the fact that I get to do what I love to do and be around my brother, my cousin, my girl, my my son, like my family and do it from home. And, you know, I'm independent. I don't got no manager. I don't got no nothing. So it's like the fact that I even get to just kind of freestyle through life, not not literally, but like, you know, freestyle my career and make the best out of it is like, bro, it's a blessing. It I'm, is I'm, definitely I'm a blessing. And that's one thing I wanted to talk to you about was because one thing I do love about you, Snow the Product, is that you keep your circle really tight and a lot of the people that help you they are your family you know yeah. what i mean and that to me that's the best because they always have your best interest exactly. at heart how is it like when you have to manage yourself at a, as an artist and you are at such a high level but you still keep it in house i mean how is that is is it difficult sometimes definitely it's 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 hard you know what i mean like sometimes it's very very difficult but when i have been part of the system and i have been in the you know the the major label system or management or whatever sometimes that's hard because having to convince people that this is actually the song that you need to drop or like yo but you don't understand all those conversations or you being looked at like you're crazy or difficult to work with because you know what you want um sometimes that's way harder so it's like i, I will take you know not sleeping i will take working super hard i will take that over having to convince people who I am every day. You know right, what I mean? Like right. I'm I'm good. Like I, I'd rather just just keep it this way. Well, your music and your talent speaks for itself. Let's just <laughs> go and say you. you're one of the baddest in the business, homegirl. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you're on Queen of the South. Yes. How was that? And are we going to see more acting from Snow the Product? 100%, yes. More acting, um, producing, writing, like anything to do with like, you know, getting into telling our stories. I do think it's very important for our people to tell our stories. And like, you know, nowadays with how many people are kind of deciding to tell stories for other people, it's like I feel like it's very necessary to have the right input you know what i mean on this type of stuff so i i do want to be um i think we definitely need stuff. more latinos behind the camera yeah you know what i mean and, exactly. and more latinos writing and exactly. telling our stories exactly yeah and there's these, these these certain little caveats and like nuances that like only you know if you've gone through that and i think that gets missed sometimes and sometimes i'll be watching a show or something and just it just didn't hit the mark you know what i mean like like the, the slang or like this is where they went bilingual and it's like that that's not normal like you wouldn't do that in a, if you were really bilingual you know those type of things i think are necessary and i think it's gonna make um latinos connect more to the shows whenever we really feel like that was authentic and um i want to be a part of it i would love to to co-write or or help in any way um because i loved it i loved queen of the south i loved my experience i felt and you super. were just so natural with it. I was like, dang, is she nervous? Because she's not even acting nervous. I was super nervous. My you first, couldn't even tell, bro. My first, my first time I got on camera, I'm not going to lie, the, the writers had given me a Hennessy bottle. And I'm not going to lie, bro. It was 8 a.m. my call time, and I drank. Like, no. A, at least a shot and a half, bro. I, I think it was maybe <laughs> two. But, bro, because I, I was so nervous. But after that, like, it was so great. Like, the 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 main actress, Alicia, um, she, she was awesome and she uh made you feel welcome she made me feel well she sucked you into the the scene you feel me like if right. you just look at her eyes like you are with Teresa. like it, it didn't feel you know That's what i mean crazy. so crazy it was easy isn't just, it crazy how just turn it on and turn it off yeah straight up like she was yeah she was mad, like mad intense so now I, let's I get a little personal right now really quick with you and your girl because she's oh, here oh you guys you guys are on instagram a lot and people love your guys's relationship and and people are invested because they follow you and, and they watch you every day so they feel like they know you both and they're invested have you guys talked about even doing a reality show together like the journey yeah actually i'm in i'm in those talks uh right now um yeah with everything with with everything from my ranch that we just bought to my running hold this up company. you bought a branch yeah girl yeah Wait, you bought a ranch you yeah have horses and i everything? officially i officially owned yeah four more a little more than four acres in la so That's we live up. yeah we buying back la okay. it's gonna be mexico <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm I'm super excited about that. Um, so so that I just is wonder because cool I watch dynamic. you guys too, and, I, and it's very interesting how you guys interact with each other, and it's entertaining. And I'm mm -hmm. like, man, I wonder if anybody hits them up about doing reality yeah. shows. Yeah, I think the most important thing about that is is making sure that it's not you know drama based and that it's told correctly and all that type of stuff. And for that, you need leverage. So like, the more I come up, the more leverage I have to be able to tell my own story. So you know, I I. 
I think it'll happen, and um, I'm having some really great conversations with some really great production companies, so we'll we'll see. And we know <clears> you're going to stick to your guns no matter what you do, because <laughs> that's just know the product. Hey. Uh, let's talk about John Z. You were with John Z recently. Yes. Okay, so Rico. what's up? What, let's talk about this. You guys got a new single out? I mean, look, this is, this is exactly what I'm saying about being independent. Like, I was with my girl. Her birthday was coming up. She's Puerto Rican. Uh, you know, her grandma was, was buried over there, and, like, she had never gone to see her. So I'm like, yo, how can I make something happen where, like, I can work and I can you know get you over there and we can do whatever right and so i'm just like i already was collabing and talking with a bunch of different artists john z was like down he's like come to puerto rico i'm like bro so we made everything happen at the same time like my girl's birthday the video with john z you know more collaborations like just everything and i'm just so excited that like it everything's all aligning, fell together bro. yeah aligned. like everything's aligning like things are, are feeling really amazing right now and uh the song is you know even though it's like just about twerking and turning up or whatever it's also about body positivity because i'm saying i like every kind of girl like you know skinny fat tall short white black everything like i'm like yo like basically every woman is, hot. is beautiful and yes. they got their own beauty within yeah and i, I love said, that is hot you said women are beautiful that was way better so yeah exactly <laughs> That's the caption. You say it your way, I'll say it my way. <laughs> but you know what? Being Friday, that definitely, especially if it's all about the twerking, you know it's going to be the soundtrack to the weekend for everybody. Exactly. LA, this got to be the soundtrack to your weekend. Tell them the new single and where they can grab it at. Um, que le gusta el flow is, you can find it everywhere, all streaming uh, platforms and everything. The videos on YouTube, if you like twerking and if you like to see Puerto Rican women shaking their butt, uh, <laughs> then go ahead and check it out. Well, you already, that's all you had to say, Puerto Rican women shaking their butt. Look exactly. at it. Our cameramen are downloading it right now. Now, exactly, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's. Let it be the sound check to your weekend all weekend long. Uh, let me ask you something. What is, uh, and this was a question that I was like, yo, I really want to ask Snow this. What is a misconception that people have about you? Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Which one of them you want to hear? Uh, there's a lot. You know, I think I, I am kind of aggressive i talk aggressively i'm i'm very now i'm way more sure of exactly who i am um and i think it sometimes comes off as like i might be a bitch or like i may be you know hard to work with or whatever and it's like no like i'm i just know that for a long time i let everybody around me tell me who i was or or dictate where i was going or you know and i think um i did that out of insecurity i think i was always very insecure and very like soft-spoken because i didn't want to like step on anybody's toes and i think after a while of just like when things went wrong people blaming me anyway now i'm like you know what we're not gonna do it like that because to be honest like it's just gonna work this way you know right. and uh and i and i think that's one thing and i think women latinas especially you know that whole like oh a spicy latina like everybody loves to say that until yeah. you're actually in front of a spicy latina and then they're like scared yeah and it's like stop being scared like we just you know that spice you like this is it so eat it <laughs> we're gonna keep the same energy <laughs> exactly. but i think what, what what people don't realize is because in this industry as a woman sometimes you got to be a little aggressive you definitely have to know who you are in this industry exactly. because this industry likes to tell people who they are yep. so you definitely definitely got to know who you are but i think um one thing that people should know about you is you probably got the biggest heart and you Thank are you. so down to earth and you, you talk to everybody from the janitors to the cooks to the owners i mean you yeah. have made time for everybody and i've seen that Thank and you. i've seen where i've been at some of your uh, events and i've seen people you know talk to you and one thing i love about you snow and i notice it and i pick up on this is that i've noticed when artists when people talk to artists they'll listen but they look past you mm -hmm. and you don't you pay attention and you yeah. don't look around or anything you let that person know that you're tuned into them and they have your attention right there and exactly. there and i'm like that's dope thank you you know that's a very unique trait to have thank and you. i just want to go ahead and highlight that but Damn, you're one of my you. homegirls thank i love you. you i'm all about <laughs> snow the product and i just love the fact that latinas reach out to me and they're like oh my god do you know snow she's so dope <laughs> I love her. Oh, my God. She's about women empowerment. All these women just are so attracted to your aura, but it's really how you represent us in the best yeah. light. Thank you. Thank you. Know? you. Dang, yes. I needed this. Girl, I needed yes. these affirmations. Girl, dang. Sometimes you just got to give people their roses right now, yes. and, and that's what it is, and a lot of people do. And, it, and I think it's important because when you're in it, it's hard to step out and, and really look, be on the outside looking in because you're in it. Yeah. So sometimes it takes people to say, maybe you don't know this, but you should hear what people have to 100%. say about you and they do they compliment you women will tag me all the time in the videos and i'm like yeah girl that's me <laughs> and they're like i just love snow and then there's even some people that are like oh my god cc i saw you in the video i just discovered her she's my <laughs> new favorite artist like they'll come across and automatically 
they 100%, love it. 100%. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. So, and, no, and you've always been very supportive of me and, and vocal. And that's what very important um, with this whole Latina thing is like, I do feel like there's a lot of times when people wait until they can like, you know, jock ride after like things or after someone's next to someone famous. And I do feel like you are very vocal and very supportive of people from the beginning. And you 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 co-sign dope whether people are onto it or not. And I just wanted to get let you know that because I love awesome you, girl. Yeah, thank, thank you. You're the best. You're the thank best. You. Listen, make sure you guys follow her right now. Snow the product. Tell them how they can go ahead and download it because I want them to download this single right now. Yes. Go go on iTunes. Go on uh, Apple, on Spotify, wherever you like to listen to your music. Go and listen to it. Uh, my name's Snow the product. You know, follow me on Spotify. And um, yeah, just check out the music. Hopefully you like it. And really quick, I'm going to put my home ground blast in front of everybody real quick because she just oh. traveled around the world. So I want to know when's the next L.A. performance? <laughs> um, that one that's coming up. Um, as far as I know, I think we're doing something in December, right? I think it's sold out and stuff. Yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. once upon a time in LA. <laughs> yeah. Oh so my God. Okay. So yes, I'm gonna be hosting that. Okay. Yeah. So, so I cannot you wait. You guys gotta catch her at the biggest concert in LA. It's gonna yeah. be the biggest concert this it's year. It's gonna be crazy. It's Hands be crazy. down. Yeah. Like when Bobby D showed me the lineup, I was yeah. like, "You gotta be kidding me!" And the first thing I said when I saw the lineup, I said, "Oh, you got my girl Snow the product." Dude, when Bobby D showed me that. I, I thought he was jo- I thought it was like his his fantasy of a of a show. I didn't think it was actually like legit because I was like, bro, that's a lot of people. Right. But, and then I see Fifty Cent posting it and everybody. Else. I was yes, like, okay, Al this is Green. Happening. I'm like, I what? Like, I was like, okay, we doing big things, Bobby D. You lit. Yeah, you doing big things, girl. So congratulations. <laughs> I love you. you. Thank you for stopping by, Thank and you. you're gonna see more of us hanging out real soon. It's yes. K Day.